Hey guys, so here I am again sharing another vintage handbag collection of mine. Um, these eight here have um, name tag inside of them. Um, so yeah, so let's begin over here. This first one here is by Partners by Mervyn's and it is the 1960s according to um, what I found online and this is um, what she looks like on the inside and yeah and then I have this mesh bag by Duramesh, um, I was told that she's from the 40s, um, and this is what she looked like from the inside, and the tag is somewhere in there, um, can't find it, oh, right there, it's by Duramesh, um, made in the USA, so it has that seashell with diamonds clasp. On it and it has a um, short chain so yeah and then I have this sequence um, bag with a short chain as well um, a kiss clasp and this is what she looks like from the inside and she is by Savco bag um, she was made in Hong Kong. Um, so yeah. And I think the black just looks so pretty. Like so sexy. <laughs> so yeah, this is what she looks like from the back. So yeah. And then I have this one. Um, has like flowers and it's all bead, you guys. Um, she has a short chain as well. Um, she's all beaded. Um, they are not glued on there. They are actually sewn in. Um, she is um, made in France. Um, she was handmade. This is she looks like from the inside. Um, from what I found online was that these were like um um wedding bags i guess when they were getting married they would carry that around after the party or something i'm not sure but yeah they were like wedding marriage bags um and then i have this one right here um don't mind my toilet paper right there <laughs> um yeah she was made um, in Hong Kong, this is what she looks like from the inside, um, by company of MHC. Um, from what I found online, I'm not sure if it's relevant or not, but I found one similar, but with a different, um, um, beading and sequence, um, pattern, um, from 1980. So, yeah, and she also has a kiss clasp. See, the kiss is right there. And then I have this one by Oriental, and she is made in China. Um, I, from what I found online, this is what she looks like from the inside. Yeah, she got um, rested from the from the middle right here. So that's why the bag looks like that. Um, from what I found, a similar one in silver online. It was from 1960s. So yeah, and then I have this one that looks like a seashell as well. Um, she, from what I found online, a similar one, she was from the 1960s. And this is what she looks like from the inside. Um, and she is from Wahlberg, made in Hong Kong. And I still have the price tag I got it for you guys. Um at a thrift store and then you guys
guys, I have this one. Um, what is it? Penny doll. And this is what she looks like from the front. And um, she has all these little um, pearls right here. Um, little diamond right there. Flowers and the kiss clasp. She has those little wraps right there. And this is what she looks like from the inside. Um, she has a tag of Mort de Paris with an address of 275 Post Street, San Francisco, number 8. And then the mirror thing fell apart. And um, she has on the back of the mirror, for all the card work, um, she has like a newsprint. I like it, guys. Like it was like a rental unit, I guess. I mean, you could pay 110 for a three um, bedroom. And you could pay 115 for a two bedroom. And my, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I did search up some of these addresses right here. And they're based in San Francisco here in California. And so, yeah, so that's the little coin purse. And, um, yeah, so. This is what she looks like from the inside. See the mirror fell off from right there. And she is Moda de Paris. And then she has two different um, patterns. She has that on one side, which could be the back side because it doesn't have any um, what the front side has here. And then the front side, she has this print right here. And yeah, and these are another part of my vintage collection. Um, I have one more set of purses to go through. And yeah, so this is my third one. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys hit that like button, leave a comment, and share with your family and friends. Um, thank you for your support. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay, bye-bye.